To write the electron configuration for chlorine, we first need to determine the number of electrons in the chlorine atom. We can do this by looking on the periodic table at the atomic number. That's the number above the element symbol. It tells us the number of protons, but it also tells us the number of electrons. And once we know the number of electrons, we can write the electron configuration for chlorine. We'll use the chart on the right to help us write the electron configuration for chlorine. We'll go down the first row, and we have one s in the first row. s orbitals can hold up to two electrons, so we'll put a two after the one s to show that there are two electrons in that first orbital. We go down the second row, and we have two s, which holds two. And then we'll go down the third row, which starts with two p. p orbitals can hold up to six electrons. In this case, we'll put all six electrons in, and we've used 10 electrons so far. Remember, we have 17 for chlorine. In that third row there on the chart, after 2p, we have 3s. We'll put 2 in the 3s, and then we'll go to the fourth row, which starts with 3p. p orbitals can hold up to 6, but in this case, we don't need 6. We only need to put 5. That'll give us 17 electrons. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 equals 17, the number of electrons we have for the chlorine atom. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for chlorine, and thanks for watching.